I want to discuss some of the functions in Excel that can be used to calculate yield and price for a treasury bill. Now, treasury bills are short-term financial instruments issued by the U.S. Treasury. The securities have maturities of up to 52 weeks, so up to one year. And they're issued on a discount basis. That is, they don't make interest payments. What happens is you pay a price that's below the maturity value and the difference is the interest received. Okay, this is what they do for these short-term financial instruments. And it makes sense because interest on treasury bonds would be paid every six months, but you might have a treasury bill that matures in 90 days, so when would you receive that interest payment? So this is the way they do it. They do it on a discount basis. So there are a no number of things we can calculate treasury bill price, treasury bill yield, and there's actually something referred to as the treasury bill bond equivalent yield. And there are formulas built into Excel that do this for us. So to get these formulas, you go up to this big sigma, and if you hit this, you just get a summation of a bunch of numbers. But if you go to the drop down menu and go down to more functions, there are a number of choices here. All right, recently used all statistics. I'm going to choose the financial ones and then scroll down here and you can see there are several treasury bill ones here. So let's look at treasury bill price first. Now, you can type these things in yourself or you hit OK and then you can get all of these here. It asks you for this information. It asks you for the settlement date and I've put that in here so that I could do the calculation, which is 3 1 um, 2021. So March 1st, 2021. The maturity here is March 29th, 2021. And I'm also going to need to scroll down here to the discount. I happen to have a discount right here, and it is 0.042108. And it's done the calculation for us using this formula. The formula is a hundred. This is per hundred dollars par value. So it's a hundred times one minus the discount times DSM. DSM is the number of days between settlement and maturity. In this case, it's 28 days. Settlement is when you receive the T-bill. Maturity is when it matures divided by 360. So they do the calculation on a 360 day basis. We can also calculate the treasury bill yield. And again, there's a function for that. Go to the drop down menu, more functions, again, scroll down to T bill yield, and I hit OK. And again, it asks me for this information. So here we know the price, but we don't happen to know what the yield is. We'd like to calculate that. So again, the settlement date, the maturity date and the price, in this case 99.673 and we get 0 0.042180 and I did that sort of intentionally so I would get the same um, discount here. So the calculation, this is the price we calculated here, slightly off because of um, rounding, but we get the same yield here and then finally, we can calculate the T-bond equivalent yield, which bases it on a 365-day year. And again, same issue. Drop this down, drop down menu. And we can go to T-bill equivalent. And what does it ask us for? It asks us for settlement, maturity, and the discount. And there it calculates that for us. So um, these functions are, are quite nice. If you're calculating treasury bill prices, yields, or equivalents, then you can take advantage of these functions in Excel to do the calculations for you.